Trevor the Traction was busy in the vicarage orchard. It was a splendid day. Birds were singing and the bees were buzzing. Hello, Trevor, said James. You look as bright and cheerful as my red paint. Oh, I am, said Trevor. What's that noise, said James. It's the bees, laughed Trevor. They're all these boxy things called hives. I'm taking them to the station. The vicar say his bees make good honey, and he's given the honey to some of his friends. Justin Boko buzzed in. Take care, you two. Don't make the bees angry. They might sting you. James did not like being told to do by a diesel and buzzed away. Goodbye, Trevor, called Poco, and set off to the station. Bill and Ben were busy shunting in the harbor yard, but they scampered off when they saw Poco. I remember the first time I met those two, laughed Poco. They almost made my eyes pop out. I was the only one who could give them an order. That's right, said Duck. I sometimes call them the bees. A good name, said Poco. They're a terrorist when they start buzzing around. James bustled in. What's that, Duck? Are you are you afraid of bees? The only says that they're all something like that. Buzz box diesel tell you different. His name is Boko, and he didn't. We were just. I wouldn't care if hundreds were swarming around, said James. I just blow smoke and make them buzz off. Buzz, 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 retorted Duck. The next day, James was to pull the express. He backed down happily on his coaches. Passengers and staff were walking up and down, getting to coaches and slamming doors. Mind your backs, yelled the porter who was taking a beehive to a truck. Then there was trouble. The beehive fell and broke open. The station cleared like magic. James heard a loud buzzing. The bees were too cold to be cross, so they buzzed around the fireman, hoping he would mend their hive. But he didn't understand, nor did the driver. So the bees turned to James. His boiler was nice and warm. Buzz off! Buzz off! yelled James. One bee burnt his foot. Ooh, ah, phew, phew. The bee thought James had stung him on purpose. Where'd it go? said James. So it stung James right back in the nose. Ah! yelled James. He had enough. So did his driver and fireman. They didn't realize until too late they had left their whole train behind. They had tried everything to get rid of the bees. First, they spun around to the turntable. They, they tried washing them off, but the bees clung harder to change this warm boiler. Then they tried smoking them off by going through a long tunnel. But still, the bees would go away. It's no use, James, said his driver. We're going to have to go back to the orchard and fetch another hive. James, his reply was surrounded by buzzing sounds. The vicar was waiting anxiously for James. When he arrived, the bees swarmed happily to their new home. Come on, James. What you need now is a good rest. Later that day, the vicar came to see James. Thank you for saving my bees, he said. It's a pity it's not Christmas, then we could call you James the Red Nose Engine. Everyone laughed, even James. But, but instead, they decided to call James the Bees Knees, which was a very special name for being really useful. <laughs>